Okay, here we have a cylinder that's in for hydro. Uh, however, it's got a lot of blister paint. Uh, so you get a nice little close-up of it. We need to scrape this paint off and inspect underneath the paint and see if the condition of the aluminum is worth doing a hydro test. All cylinders before doing a hydro must have a visual inspection which includes the exterior. I typically start with the exterior and sometimes I don't even have to go as far as uh, looking inside. Uh, they sometimes fail just with exterior condition. However this one I really don't know until we strip or scrape all this paint off. I have a handy little scraper that makes this job really quick and easy. I'll start scraping and you'll see how this paint just comes right off. And you'll see under the paint a lot of white oxidation. That white oxidation is actually eating into the metal. If it remains there, it will eat right into the metal. I can already see a nice pit. Now that pit, if you notice, is full of oxidation. Next step to uh, probe and see how deep the pit is, we'll take a brush and try to get some of that oxidation out. Get a different angle on it. I'll take a handy little pick. And probe the depth. It looked deeper than what it is, but it's it's pretty deep. It's got a second pit here and a third little pit here. That's all kind of concentrated there. I can see some more pitting here. I kind of suspect this tank is not going to get too far before I can uh, probably condemn it. So let's keep scraping, see what else we can come up with. Sometimes you'll get a tank like this with a lot of blister paint and you'll scrape it and it's actually not bad underneath. It all depends on how long it's been blistering. Comes off pretty easy. Not much uh, effort being put in to scraping it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and continue scraping and once I complete all the scraping um, I'll shoot another little video and see what I find. This might take me a little while. I estimate probably about 15-20 minutes of scraping maybe, hopefully less. Um, I put the camera down I'll be able to really uh, speed up the scraping. But you can understand the process of scraping all this paint off. Even on the bottom of the tank, this has got to go as well. All right, let me pause this video real quick and I'll try to knock this out quickly.